internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe. You got your coffee this morning. That's my little Minnesota loon. It looks like a duck, but it's a loon. And I've got my friend Derek here, Dr. Derek. You there, Derek? I'm here. Yay! This is pretty cool because you're probably just like a couple miles because we're away because we're still in the same city and everything. I do these sometimes with people over in like Indonesia and China and sometimes and it's a whole day off, you know, so it gets kind of weird, but it's nice being in the same time zone. Exactly. It's kind of, it's kind of weird looking into the future and seeing what tomorrow is going to be. Wouldn't it be cool if we could do that? Yes. <laughs> we can actually. We can change the future, believe it or not. Absolutely. can change the past well, too. Oh, you froze up a little bit there. You come back. My wife had a little thing about changing the past. Now, you can't change the actual past past, but you can change your perception of the past. Absolutely. Which is very cool. Anyways, I don't do these too long. I do them kind of quick to just because people got their uh, 24 hours in the day, and it's sort of a constant for all of us, so I just knock them right out. So the first question is, who's Dr. Derek? You get married, you got kids, and all that kind of stuff? Uh, no, I do not. I'm, I always tell people. Got it. Uh, huge part of my life for the last year that I've been doing business, and it's taken up a lot of my time. But um, you know, I'm still still single, and it's it's okay. I you know I love doing work. I love being a chiropractor. I love working on my business. I like being in my business, and so uh, yeah, I enjoy that, and I spend a lot of my time doing it. Got it. Yeah. Though sometimes uh, children, although they're wonderful and lovely and everything, they do take a lot of time. Yes. <laughs> sort of distract you from the stuff. I don't have any kids myself, but I am married. My wife's got a child, so he's growing up and on his way. So we're kind of free birds or what do they call them? Empty nesters or whatever. Empty nesters. <laughs> yeah. So I know what you do, but you can tell the others you're basically a chiropractic doctor, right? Yes. Yes. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. Uh, you know, I work at Health Source of Minnetonka uh, Nugget Restaurant down in the Glen Lake. And so, like I said, it's been open for all five years. We, we do things a little bit. We kind of add progressively into the whole chiropractic fold. It's not about just, you know, let's adjust a couple times. You feel better. Okay. Come when, it's, when it's hurting, we, we really correcting issues. And we do that not only through the aspect, but we do a lot of rehab. Make sure we strengthen muscles, help people's posture. We can correct curvatures within the spine and into that. So where do you do this? You just do this all in your office, or do you ever go on site or anything like that, or is it all pretty uh, no. much? It's it's all in our office. Um, big rehab day um, with a couple specialists that work for for me, and uh, so yeah. So patients, it's kind of a one stop shop. They can come in and get their chiropractic. They can come in and also do their the rehabilitation, their exercise. If they need muscle work, we do muscle work. Also, we have different nutritional lines of different things that for people. It's, you know, I try to try to make it as much of a stop wellness shop as uh, as it can be. So, when do you work? Do you have like normal office hours, or are you like got a pager on your belt so you can be a chiropractor on call, or is it uh, by um, appointment? Or we, yeah, we have we have appointments and we have a schedule. Um, you know, people like to give me a hard time because they look at my office hours and like, well, you're only open 28 hours a week. And I said. That's the times that I see patients is 28 hours. The rest of the time is going out into the community, doing a lot of outreach stuff, just trying to, to get people more aware of, of health and wellness and how they can live healthier lives. Uh, and stuff within businesses, um, within the, and, and a lot of stuff like that. So you do like emergency calls? Because I remember I had a situation quite a few years ago where I was just, I must have, I was carrying something heavy and I know something happened, but nothing happened until yeah. the next day. I was oh, yeah. sitting at my computer and also my back started hurting and it got progressively worse and worse and worse. And pretty soon I was on my back, literally yeah. trying to get my phone with my foot because I couldn't bend to get it. And I was thinking, I'm going to have to call 911 or something because I don't know what's going on. And finally it got better and I just had to go into a chiropractor and figure out and they, they massaged it. And they actually told me not to take it easy. Go for a walk around the lake is what they said. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty common in your situation. That is common with people where have the injury that occurs like they'll fall or do something like that but because of the adrenaline that your system after that it kind of masks any symptoms that you're having until all of a sudden one feeling goes away then all of a sudden the symptoms start to come about 
And uh, so, yeah, so we, we see quite a bit of that. Um, I'll take emergency calls if we, I roll the phones to my cell. And so if we do get an emergency, we will come in and um, be able to see them. But going back to your point about uh, exercise and moving after the injury, there's a lot of research that's been done over the years uh, now because before, you know, back in the 80s, 90s, 70s, whatever, they used to always say, like, you'd hurt yourself. It's like, okay, take it easy, lay on the couch, don't do anything for a while. But with all the research that they've done on soft tissue healing, they realize that when that happens, that scar tissue that builds up around there, it ends up being and causes more relapses, flare-ups later on down the road want to do is as soon as you possibly can moving even if it's just a very slow to keep those muscles and those ligaments moving then the, the scar tissue that's built will actually be a tissue and they'll leave you less inclined for um, flare-ups in the future does that kind of like i mean my logical brain is going okay you hurt yourself and now the muscles will start to tighten up because it gets it starts to hurt so the muscles yep. tighten up more and it starts bending and the muscles tighten up more and it hurts more. And it, is it an accumulative kind of thing? So you got to kind of get it moving? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. You want to keep those muscles. I could have been a doctor. As much as possible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not that tough. Um, but yeah, that is kind of the, the concept of it. You want to keep that stuff moving in order. And it's more for making that the soft tissue will heal over the long, you know, and making sure that it heals properly because. Again, that scar tissue that builds up over any, and even if you sprain your ankle, you're going to get scar tissue that builds up in there, and you want that scar tissue to be a, a stronger form of its of its or of that kind of tissue, and so that's make it stronger in the long term. It's going to help it heal faster. So that's, even on sprained ankles, you want to keep moving it, and that's why a lot of doctors when or when I have athletes who come in with sprained ankles, I said I know it's going to hurt a little bit. But kind of take your ankle through the alphabet, like just kind of kind of mark out the alphabet with your ankle sure. to just keep that movement. With I get it. Well, again, I don't like to do these too long, so I'm going to sign this one off. But before that, I know we got our networking event that we do on Thursday mornings, so yeah. I'll see you there. But you've got something coming up, uh, an event that you're going to some outreach for the community thing that you got going on. You want to share that a little bit? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, Every year in October, we do a with uh, the Jane Bratton Breast Center the clinic, and uh, we do a pink um, event, and it's to raise about breast cancer and, and getting females to get checked at an earlier age and stuff and be able to um, hope one day be able to eradicate it or, or make sure that people can have a 100% prognosis and treated for it. And so we do a little raise money over the course of the month with our patients and businesses around the area. But on October 26th, we kind of cap off the month with a wine, women, and wellness uh, lady event at our office. And it's from 7 to 9 on the 26th, which is a Thursday night. And we have a ton of different um, female vendors here, um, you know, selling different health and wellness stuff or jewelry or clothes, you know, anything that women like to go out and shop for and might want to buy for themselves. And um, all the money and the proceeds, they go back to the, the Jane Bratton Breast Center to, to help them, you know, have money to be able to diagnose and detect stuff a lot quicker. Okay. Is there a easy to find a web link to get to this yes. event? Yep. If you go on to uh, Facebook and just go to, there's an event right event for, for that ladies' night. And type in like Health Source of Men in Tonka and you can see it and you'll find the event. Otherwise, just type in the pink ladies' night and that should come up and click on the event and peruse the vendors and look at what the event all entails. Okay, and I will uh, find it myself, and then where I propagate this video out to the internet, I'll uh, include that link on there so people can find it. So awesome. if you want, if you want to stay on for a little bit, I'd like to chat with you a little bit before we go. But I'm going to sign this one off and put it in the can and beam it out to the universe. So I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Peace.